Gingham Watershed Conservancy District is home to some of the most beautiful pieces of land throughout the country. The beating heart of these lands are the various lakes that are throughout the district. The Muskingum Watershed Conservancy District has a long and detailed history. MWCD is the largest conservancy district in Ohio, covering more than 8,000 square miles. MWCD's inception was for flood control and water conservation. To understand MWCD's role in conservation, it's important to understand the history behind it. The year 1913 experienced an unprecedented amount of rainfall and caused major flooding in the central and eastern United States, destroying everything from urban areas to precious farmland. This event became known as the Great Flood of 1913. Ohio was one of the states most affected by the flood, which caused the deaths of 650 residents. The Great Flood of 1913 to this day still remains the greatest natural disaster in Ohio history. The devastation that followed the flood prompted Ohio residents and officials to create a solution. Hydrological engineer and future MWCD chief engineer Arthur E. Morgan came up with an extensive plan to protect the Dayton and Miami areas from future flooding disaster. Morgan recommended the construction of earthen dams on the Great Miami River. Governor James M. Cox supported this plan, and this led to the passage of the Vonderheide Act, which is also known as the Ohio Conservancy Law. This law gave the state the authority to establish watershed districts and led to the birth of the Miami Conservancy District, the first major watershed district in the nation, and trailblazed the way for other conservancy districts to be formed. Ohio has a vast amount of rivers, tributaries, and waterways that flow throughout its lands. Many other regions were subject to flooding, like that of 1913. The Muskingum watershed was a prime area for flooding, and talks of making a new watershed district were buzzing around among individual property owners, as well as within the local, state, and federal government. On June 3, 1933, in accordance with Ohio law, a conservancy court formally created the district. Soon after, Bryce Browning was chosen to be MWCD's first secretary of the district. A year later, the U.S. federal government allocated $22 million to have the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers construct the 14 dams within MWCD. The official plan called for the construction of 14 dams, which were designed to provide an equitable distribution of flood control and water conservation features throughout the watershed. At the time of planning, the infamous Dust Bowl was ravaging through the Midwestern United States. Morgan took into consideration the idea of another Dust Bowl-like scenario happening in other parts of the United States. Because of this, MWCD's dams and reservoirs were designed to control and store large amounts of water in the case of a drought. After some careful planning, it was decided that the dams and reservoirs would be located in the watersheds of three main basins of the Muskingum River, the Walhonding River, Tuscarawas River, and the Muskingum River. The dams constructed along these basins would save lives and billions of dollars in property damage. The sheer size of this construction project was daunting, but was necessary to protect the people, property, and wildlife. The project was completed, and with the passage of the Flood Control Act of 1939, the federal government confirmed its commitment to the flood control operations in the MWCD. After the construction was completed, it was agreed upon that the newly constructed dams were successful in protecting local areas from flood damage. 
NWCD's mission is to prevent devastating flooding to the surrounding areas. As a conservancy district, NWCD strives to promote, maintain, and enhance the health and diversity of the district's natural resources for the public through many conservation programs. A conservancy district provides technical, financial, and educational resources needed to help people within the district meet environmental standards in conservation. These standards are put in place to protect and conserve soil, water, prime farmland, woodland, wildlife, and urban areas. Additionally, a conservancy district will also implement programs to assist other people in conservation efforts within the district. Initial growth in revenue was slow for MWCD because it was completely self-supporting. During the mid-20th century, MWCD's revenue sources were primarily from recreation fees, lease payments, and other income-generating endeavors like oil, gas, and forestry operations. These sources of revenue were a key component in keeping the district operational since MWCD does not receive direct funding from local taxpayers. The Muskingum Watershed Conservancy District remained a stable and reliable conservancy district for the remainder of the 20th century. Since the dams around the district were constructed, MWCD continued its role in conservation while also expanding its recreational programs too. The turn of the 21st century saw our world as we know it change before our eyes. The early 2000s saw a great deal of change, and that started for MWCD when the United States government conducted a reassessment of its dams. Since MWCD's dams were constructed in the 1930s, no significant improvements had been made to the dams. The federal government did an inspection of dams nationwide, and the dams within MWCD were no exception. It was determined that the dams in MWCD were in need of improvements. The estimated cost of repairs needed for these dams far exceeded the amount of revenue that was being generated by MWCD. In the early 20th century, the government turned to MWCD as a cost share partner to make the repairs the dams desperately needed. To counteract this, Ohio legislators introduced an amendment to the Ohio Revised Code that would allow MWCD to receive assistance from residents living within the district. The amendment was passed in 2005 and the assessment was born, and in 2009, the plan was put into action. The assessment had the residents within the district pay an annual fee of $12 that is then applied solely to maintaining the dams and reservoirs, performing conservation efforts, ensuring water quality, and flood mitigation. The lessons of history have shown us how important it is to protect and maintain these crucial areas. The assessment gave MWCD the funds to continue its dam restoration projects. The oil and gas boom that hit the United States in the 21st century saw growth in horizontal drilling and hydraulic fracturing, which made tight oil deposits recoverable. MWCD, with thousands of acres of land within its district, garnered interest from partners. Conventional oil and gas drilling has been part of MWCD's history for many decades, but horizontal drilling has offered a larger amount of drilling opportunities than before. If MWCD were to lease parts of its land for oil and gas exploration, contractors would have to abide by MWCD's strict guidelines to ensure that environmental standards are a top priority. After coming to an agreement, MWCD began to lease its lands to allow for horizontal oil drilling under its closely monitored guidelines. The revenue generated from these drilling agreements has allowed MWCD to lower the annual assessment payment from $12 to $6 per parcel annually. 
Recreational activities are an important piece in MWCD's history alongside flood control. These activities stay true to this day and are continuing to grow thanks to the revenue generated from MWCD's lease agreements with oil and gas contractors. The influx of revenue from oil and gas allowed for new construction projects to improve facilities, recreation areas, and conservation efforts. These improvements and newly introduced activities have led to more visitors visiting its parks than ever before. To ensure the safety and security of guests, MWCD employs park rangers throughout the entire district. Park rangers have a long history at MWCD and have been a vital part since MWCD's inception in 1933. Park rangers were tasked to preserve and protect the district's waterways and lands. Over the years, the duties of park rangers within MWCD have shifted with the rising number of guests visiting the parks and marinas. Park rangers will always safeguard nature and uphold MWCD's rules and regulations, but they also protect and serve the people visiting MWCD. Alongside park rangers, MWCD staff are an integral piece to keeping the district operational. Employment at MWCD has a wide range of jobs to keep our parks fun and safe. All the jobs at MWCD are crucial, and without the proper staff, MWCD wouldn't be what it is today. We had a vision. We studied, planned, and worked to make it a reality. Strong leaders developed from among us, and we followed them through the difficult days when discouragement made the vision seem dim and the goal very far away. The Muskingum Valley today is a living thing. It is the growing trees and grasses, the fish and wild animals, the fertile fields responding to the changing season, the living waters. It is the people and the hopes and aspirations of generations yet unborn. On this good land, full and abundant, there is life. It is a happy place. But our story does not end here. It will never end. Once a vision is born, it can never die. The vision grows and the people grow with it. But come, see it for yourself. This new age opens a new chapter to MWCD's long history, and you should be a part of that history. MWCD has something for everyone. The only way to find out what's for you is to come out and visit yourself. Nature awaits at the Muskingum Watershed Conservancy District.